Look at verse 30, the first part of verse 30. It says this, then Elijah, Elijah called to the people, say this with me, come over here. Say it again, come over here. Now here's the thing, Elijah wasn't calling the people over to an altar. What he was really doing is he was calling the people back to God. Think about this. God had led the children of Israel, the nation of Israel, into the promised land. If you don't know that story, you need to read about it. Because, I mean, they, the land flowing with milk and honey, he gave them everything their hearts could have ever desired, led them out of slavery and bondage, placed them in this land, and now, all of a sudden, we go a few generations forward, and they had not kicked out the foreign nations that were among them that God had told them to do. They began to live among them, and what happened is the world started calling to them, come over here, come over here. And they slowly started neglecting worship. And they started building shrines, building temples, and building idols to other gods. Instead of God being the center of their worship, he got pushed over to the side. And we read this and we think, man, how could that even be possible? How could they get distracted? I mean, this is the God who brought them into the promised land. But come on, I think we are all just as susceptible it is so easy to get distracted right now. I mean, the world is constantly saying to you and to me, come over here. Just pick up your phone. Let's just talk about just the phone, okay? Pick up your phone, and what do you got? You got news headlines staring you in the face going, you need to read. Look what Donald Trump did. Look what Joe Biden did. Look what the pandemic is doing. Look at the natural disasters. And this big headline, it says, come over here. Or, or maybe you're on, have you ever seen the clickbait? It's off to the side on, 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 your, on your screen, or maybe it's down near the bottom, and it's like, 20 celebrities who've let themselves go. Number six will surprise you. And, and you're just like, yeah, and the world's saying, come over here. Or let's just talk about the red dot. <laughs> the red dot on your phone. There's that email. Uh, I, I, I probably should check that. Or a uh, social media notification. I, 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 and it's constantly saying, come over here. Here, I mean, if you're a parent and you've got kids, and there's all kinds of activities that people are saying, sign your kid up, sign your kid up, sign your kid up. But you're like, man, there's a pandemic going on. But they're saying, sign your kid up, sign your, they're saying, come over here. So in the New Testament, John is one of the disciples of Jesus. He's one of these guys that refused to be distracted. He was red hot, passionate for the things of Christ. In fact, so much so that when you read about the Last Supper, the final meal that Jesus had with his disciples, where was John? John said, I'm going to be right next to Jesus. When Jesus was raised from the dead and they said, hey, the tomb is empty, you read the story about John and he, he didn't walk to the tomb. He didn't wait on someone else. It says he ran to to the tomb. This is a guy who was passionate about Jesus. And in one of his letters, 1 John 2.15, he said this, do not love this world nor the things it offers you. Come on, turn to somebody wherever you are and say, don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Verse 17, he says this, this world is what? Say it with me, fading away. This world is fading away along with everything that people crave. In other words, it's all cotton candy. I mean, the second it hits your taste buds, it's gone. And the only thing it does is creates a craving for more in this endless, endless search that we get on. And I believe what Jesus is saying to his church today and saying to us as a church today is, come over here. Come over here. Let me be the object of your worship. May, may I be your passion. Come back to me. 